Uh, may you give us the pictures. Let Mr. NS continue narrating his life story and inspiring Camonians. Where were you there, sir? Oh, uh, there I was uh, visiting my, my kid's school. Uh, can I call the name of the school? Yes, call the name of yes, the school. Yes, my, my children attend uh, Jemanjale at Bitingi. Wow. I have, uh, I have four kids in that school. Is, wow, that's uh, great. Four yes, kids. Yes, four kids. And my, my first son, who is in Form 2 in Sase, wow. passed through the school. That's good. Uh, Daniel, yes. They, I, I have, currently, I have four kids there, wow. four boys. One is in Class 5. Uh, Who is that beautiful lady there? That's my wife, uh, Immaculate. That's my How many children wife. you have? I have five kids with my wife. Oh, that's yes. all, boy, all boys. You are working in the five academics boys. and you are working back at home <laughs> in the social you. life. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay, uh, next, next week, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Where were you there, sir? Oh, uh, that was during my wedding. Wow. With my wife. I think that was in front of the council. The mayor, you can see the mayor. Uh, which which council is that? Uh, Boya Council. The wow. council at when the was day. that? Oh, uh, it's about, uh, just about uh, two months now, so... Two months now? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what prompted you uh, to delay? Yeah, I know uh, the delay was because I, I was struggling with academics, you know, I, and my background and all of that. And uh, wow. again, you know, I was handling a lot of things together, yeah, making children, trying to train them, train myself, and, you're doing everything and all of that. Yes. So those are very challenges. Time, yes. You have the energy. Yes, it's God, it's God, it's you God. Have the energy. Yeah. Next week. While you're signing your wedding day again? Yes. Next picture. Okay, you're there signing your wedding again, sir. Exactly, with the mayor. With the mayor. After the ceremony, giving me certificates. You know? So, mm. it, should, it, it indicates that you're a family man? Yeah, yeah, of Who course. Who is that? That's my colleague. That's uh, Dr. Fonkeng. Okay, you're calling in the department of Boya. Yeah. Okay, I want to say that you, you, I want to say that you are a great mind, sir. You are a great mind. Thank May you, you explain to us your PhD journey? Oh, my PhD journey is is a is is is, is a complex. Explain to us. We need to far. know. I started my PhD in the in 2008 in Yobi. Uh, unfortunately, after a semester, I became very sick, and I almost lost my life. And so I lost track with my with my classmate after after the first semester. They went ahead. Uh, when I recovered, uh, they had already gone and written the the comprehensive. Um, well, and then I I was left out. Now, I came back to the authorities and asked them that they should organize a special session so that they can teach me, I can do the second semester, and they very complete time, and then move ahead with the thesis. However, the university authorities explained to me that um, they would not have the money to organize for special lectures for me alone. Where were you that you missed the competition? I was very, I was very sick. After first semester, in the period, I became very sick that I almost lost my life. Oh, As a matter of fact, Thank I was God diagnosed with tinnitus. Uh, Thank God for speedy recovery. I almost, I almost died. And so I lost track with my uh, close classmate at the PhD level. And so, like I explained earlier, when I came back, when I was treated and I became strong healed, I went to the school authorities. I wrote that I want to you know, continue the program. But the excuse they gave me is that they cannot organize, you know, teachings no. only for me alone. No. It would be too expensive for me. I should wait until when they launch a second, when they launch another program for PhD, and you join the students and move so ahead. What did you do? Did you continue or did you? I didn't on? because because the university never launched PhD. Again. Okay, you have, to, you, you, have to in I, another, you have to continue. You have to continue somewhere. Yes, I waited until when I was recruited to teach in UB in 2012. That's great. I wrote again, and they kept giving me the same reason. Okay. And so I waited until when Bamenda launched the PhD. Exactly. Uh, that was when I went there and picked a form, and uh, I think I'm, my last days in the PhD program. Like you said earlier, uh, in the months, uh, sorry, in the weeks ahead or so, I will be defending my thesis. I want to advise our people out there that in life, never give up. When you have a dream, you hold your dream, you picturize your dream, and one day you will reach there. Exactly. Mr. Lalo had a dream to become a university dorm, and I want to tell you, the funny story is that Mr. Lalo doesn't know that he was my undergraduate teacher in the, uni in the University of Boya. Mm -hmm. I came to the University of Boya in 2011. Interesting. Because I came to the University of Boya. That's interesting. That yeah. means you were already teaching by yeah, then. Transport, yes. You were my teacher by then. And today, you are my guest. Of to tell you that <laughs> there's always light at the end of the, the tunnel. tunnel. Congratulations to you, sir, you for much. your upcoming PhD defense in Bamenda University. Much. 
we have a message we have a message here let's read the message wow dr busi what a great show <laughs> i was i was i was a physics student in the sorry so uh, wow dr busi what a great show i was a physics student in the university of boya Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Let's write on, sir. So okay. We'll come back there. Okay. They, there's a mix-up in that message. Okay. Explain to us briefly your professional life. Well, my professional life, uh, I don't know. I started as far back as Nanjela uh, Atul. I did the, uh, you yes. know. Yes. Uh, but if I have to narrow it to the experience in, the, in teaching, um, when I had my master's degree, uh, I picked up a teaching job at Chico. Mm -hmm. uh, with that publicity, I taught at the, you know, the defunct or former impasse for six years. Mm -hmm. um, but while there, I was marking the A levels, mm -hmm. history, about three, that's African world history. And I did that until 2011 and 12 when I was recruited in the teaching university, then I moved on. Mm -hmm. uh, came to UB, I've been in the department, you know, teaching. And then, the, of course, teaching, and I mean, I'm a student too. But before you continue your professional life, yeah. let's just read this message. Okay, thank Great you. Great program, Dr. Busi. Never give up on your dreams, exactly. no matter the challenges. Yes. What I have learned from today's guest, from, from today's guest, Clarice Moliko. So Clarice is saying that we should never yeah, give up when we have Challenge. our dreams. So our young people, you have big dreams, big, big dreams. Yeah. Think big and you reach there. Yeah. Right on, sir? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I said, I, in my, my career in university has been, uh, uh, well, there, were some, there have been some challenges, uh, of course. Um, because, of course, I did a PhD as soon as when I enrolled. I left, I abandoned, you know, when, the, when I had a problem in Boya because of ill health. And uh, the fact that university authorities do not want to, you know. No, just explain to us your career life. Yeah, it's as a teacher. Yeah. And how you are, you have been able to impact life. Good. I have produced, I have produced uh, students uh, at the secondary school and high school. In the university, I've done the same, and uh, I think I feel that is the area that God has chosen me, you know, to contribute my own quarter to nation building, my own little quarter to nation building. You have, been uh, able to, you have been able to graduate how many batches of students? Uh, since 2011 and 12, if you count, it will be at least eight or so. You have been able to Seven graduate eight about eight, eight batches, batches in the yes. university. Yeah, yeah. And ab about how many long essays or projects have you supervised? I have supervised, uh, can I, I'm, I've supervised uh, more than 25 or 30 long essays. Wow, that's yeah, great. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. So how have you shaped the life of these young Cameroonians? Uh, I give, I, I, I give them positive, positive values, positive attitude. Be courageous, be humble, be respectful, be hardworking, be fearless. Wow. Because you know, when you when you are afraid, you don't engage in meaningful things. You want easy, easy ways, and easy ways don't lead to anything. Engage yourself on areas that are, that you have challenges, so that, so, so that when you overcome, you impact society in a much more meaningful way. And those, that is a I, I blend teaching with, you know, counseling them to face life, to face politics, to face economics, to face culture, to face society, to wow. face the world. Wow. Because that is the kind of, uh, these are the kind of things that enabled me to be where I, I, if I find myself in this state today, I've not been there. But if I find myself, I'll put my two foot, I mean, I'll put my two legs down and I'll face, I'll face whatever society, whatever challenges I find myself. What makes you unique, sir? Um, my uniqueness is that I, 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 I speak my mind. I, my, I, I respect people, respect institutions, I speak my mind. Um, I, I feel that I need, I have, I have a duty uh, to contribute to the progress of society. Who are your role models? Oh, I, I have a good number. Name them. Um, you have um, Professor, uh, Professor Meri Meritus, Professor Lango. I, 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 he's, I mean, he's just wonderful. I don't, I don't want to get uh, into details. I also have as my role model the, of course, he's, of course, he's no longer there. I told you, Mbutru. Um, I also have a uh, prof, uh, Fanso. 
Uh, I also have um, Prof. Um, Prof. Kanut Ingwa. Kanut Ingwa, yes. Who did not really supervise Namansa's, uh, you know, Namansa's uh, uh, project. Yes. But is also my co-supervisor. At the level of PhD? PhD, yes, yes, yes. And of course, my role model is calling my, 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 my supervisor, Professor Fomin, years before me. What men taught you? Yes, exactly. He has given me, uh, he together with uh, Prof. Kanut Ingwa, have given me what no other man has done. Okay, Prof. Uh, of, okay, our doctor to be in few days. Uh, in few days, we'll perform our academic rituals oh, on yes, you to oh, become yes. a full doctor. Yeah. And give your last words to young Cameroonians watching us now. Oh, Cameroonian youth, you did not choose to be born in Cameroon. You are in Cameroon. You have to accept that fact. And you have to assert yourself in a way that contributes in the building of the Cameroonian nation. The nation we have today is the work of the forefathers. They have done their own. Others are doing it. The youths have to take the mantle with courage, with humility. Okay? They have to contribute towards billions. They should not say what has the society done for, for them. Of course, the society has already done a lot. But there is more that is expected from them, and they can do it. The transformation of this country rests on the soldiers of the youth, and I plead with them to accept that challenge. Uh, I want you to give the youth out there five points from your experiences yes. that will help them navigate and succeed. Good. Uh, five points is a uh, being. Name them. State one. One. Humility. Two. Being assiduous, Three. being courageous, four, being uh, sincere, and five, being frank and honest. Wow, we have come to the end of the show. Very interesting show where Mr. Lalo Enes, uh, the to be doctor in few days in history, which is not easy to be an academic doctor, will become a full doctor. And Mr. Lalo Enes, you have been reckoning your life pathway interestingly. And I appreciate you for coming, sir. Thank you very much. You, when you look at people like Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs dropped out of college and got fired from Apple. And then he started Apple in his father's garage. And Steve Jobs became a great mind. When you look at people like Oprah Winfrey, was fired from... He, her anchor radio program, 6 p.m. radio program. But Oprah Winfrey never gave up. But she became one of the world's best anchor because she, fell, she, 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 she was disappointed. She fell, she rose, and she never gave up. She was determined. She had the burning desire. When you fall, stand. When you stand, you walk. When you walk, you try to move. When you try to move, you try to run. You will reach there. Oh, yes. Thank you, Dr. Lalo. Uh, I will call you doctor to be Dr. Dr. Lalo Enes for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doc. We are together. Thank you bye very bye. much. Thanks. Next time. Okay, until then. It's a pleasure. <laughs>